Hello students, it's your professor, Dr. Mink, and I'm creating this short video to describe the difference between a class level variable and a variable that is declared within a procedure or a subroutine. So here we have some code. Our public class is the form, form one, and we have all these private subroutines within that class. Now I want you to take a look at this subroutine. Button click event handler for button one. Now I declare length width and area within this subroutine. This is one way of of doing this. Now I'm going to come up and I'm going to try to change the value stored in length in another subroutine within the public class. Notice we get an error. If I hover my mouse over the error, it says length is not declared. It may be inaccessible due to its protection level. So length does not exist. Its scope is not does not include this subroutine label to underscore click because length is declared down here in this subroutine. It's not a class level variable. Now watch. Um, let me take its declaration statement and put it up at the class level. And then I will simply make this an assignment statement. Notice the error in the assignment statement for this length is no longer there. However, here's the problem. Because length is available to this subroutine and this subroutine, you're going to have its value changed when this button is clicked and it's going to be competing with this assignment statement where we're taking its value using cint from text box one the text property so i hope this helps you to understand the difference between a class level variable and a local variable whose scope is the subroutine in which it's declared and used